Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the High School in Canada podcast for CISS and Life. My name is Miguel Lopez and today I have a really special guest, Anastasia Veloshop, Partnership and, Spe- and Sales Specialist at CISS. Welcome Anastasia, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Miguel? Pretty good. I'm pretty excited to have one of the sessions of the High School in Canada podcast. I feel a lot of agents will find this information really useful, and I'm really happy to share the screen now with you. You're an expert of high school in Canada, probably, at this uh, point. I hope so. As a, I'm a mother of a teenager in Canada going to Canadian public high school, I hope I will be able to reply to most of your questions today, and thank you for your time. Thanks. So today, we're going to talk about a really special topic, which is the February 2023 intake. We're going to talk about what's the difference between the different kind of public education in Canada, Catholic and public works, and what is open right now, right? So Anastasia, tell us, as a mom of a high school student, you're definitely one of the best people to ask about the education system in Canada. Could you please let us know what's one of the best advantages of the education in this country? Um, Canadian educational system has high standards, very inclusive curriculum and upscale facilities. Often when I talk to parents from other countries, and especially my U.S.-based friends who are also familiar with Canadian school, they say that our public schools are like their private schools. And this is so true. It's a standard for a Canadian public school to have labs, indoors and outdoors, sport facilities, art classes, cafeteria or dining halls, library, even more. Uh, The curriculum is also defined and approved by the Ministry of Education for each province, which means that students at different school in different areas, big or small, have the same set of subjects. In addition, French as a second language is also available in all schools in Canada. We do have uh, French immersion schools outside of Quebec for French-speaking students, where some subjects are taught in French and some subjects are taught in English. And for international students um, who are away from their homes, uh, each school board have international students advisors uh, that can help them if they have any difficulties adjusting to new uh, conditions in Canada. I understand your uh, daughter goes to a Catholic school board, right? Yeah, she does. Um, And uh, my family is not Catholic family. Uh, In fact, uh, we are from a Jewish background. And a great thing about Canadian Catholic schools, which are public schools, is that they welcome kids from all kinds of religious background. Students are not required to be um, Catholic to study. Um, it's more about respect for any kind of religion. Right? If you want to have more information about the Catholic public schools in Canada, we have a CISS video uploaded in our YouTube channel. So you'll be able to get more information about Catholic school boards and what is that type of education in Canada. So Miguel, what uh, what can you tell about the uh, about the duration of the programs for the students who come in February? What are the options at the moment? Right. So usually students that come in February are coming for a full semester, which would go from February to the end of June. But we have London Catholic, Durham Catholic. Simca Region, Avon Maitland, Bruce Gray Catholic, Upper Grand, Sudbury Catholic, including Sudbury French for those that are looking for a French experience, North Bay, Upper Canada, and Windsor. So in any of these locations, you could still apply for February 2023 uh, full semester program right now. And we also have the opportunity for some students to come for a short-term experience which is uh, coming for a short-term experience is coming for eight, 12, or 16 weeks. Now, not all of the school boards can accept this kind of short-term applications. So it's really important to contact your sales representative from CISS MLI to know exactly which boards are open. Right now for February, 2023, we have three different locations that accept short-term applications, which are Windsor, London Catholic and Durham Catholic school boards. In any of these three locations, a student can come for a shorter period in February 2023. So it's really coming up to the end of the application time for 2023. So if you're thinking about applying for a high school program starting in the semester, please send your applications as soon as possible. Now, 
sometimes Anastasia I feel like agents and families are worried about starting in February especially because Canada is known for the cold weather right so can you tell us what's the best part of coming to Canada in that time of the year coming in February well, when students come for the second semester starting in February or for the short-term program during Canadian winter, they have this very unique opportunity to actually enjoy and experience the best of Canadian winter. We do have a lot of uh, Canadian winter events and festivals, um, which are big and many international tourists actually come to Canada during winter time just to experience those events. For example, in Ottawa from February 3rd to February 20th, there's a big event called Winterlude uh, with a lot of um, winter related activities and a highlight is a skating on the Rideau Canal, which is frozen during this time of the year. Another amazing event is the uh, Niagara Falls Winter Festival of Lights, which runs from November to the end of February. And at this time, the entire Niagara is transformed to this one uh, wonderland of lights with fireworks, light activities, uh, different concerts outdoors, um, and uh, different activities that are very suitable for the students and the families. For people, for students who would like to ski, we do have a lot of skiing uh, places, including one of the most popular in Ontario, which is a Blue Mountain Ski Resort. So as uh, Miguel once said, Canada is not cold, it's really cool. And that's very yeah. correct. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, I feel that sometimes people get scared of the cold weather, but I mean, if someone's ready for the winter, it's Canada. I have no doubt about it. You have so many different types of activities to do during the winter season. So of course, the students are going to be able to have a different type of experience and enjoy the Canadian weather and enjoy the Canadian adventure that they're going to have. So you're right. Canada is not cold. It's cool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One of the things that I also like the most is that with winter, it comes a diff different opportunity for different sports, right? Sports are divided in seasons. So you can have a sport that is only played in fall or only during the spring or only during the winter. This is really important for students that are practicing a specific sport. Maybe back at home, they're really good at soccer. Maybe they're really good at basketball. Maybe there's something they want to try out while they're here. So before applying, it's really important to confirm what are the sports available in that specific semester. As students that are coming for a shorter experience, probably would not have the same opportunities to practice different sports as a full year student. Some winter sports might include skiing, skating, hockey, curling, basketball, mainly indoors, uh, volleyball as well indoors. Uh, and then some spring sports might be soccer, softball, track and field, baseball, or badminton. Now, now, these are some examples. It would depend on the school and what school board you're applying. It would depend if you're closer to the mountains or not. But if you want more information about what's available right now for the February 2023 start, please reach out to your sales representative and you'll get more information about the sports and the clubs that would be open for this February 2023. So last but not least, uh, let's talk about the application deadline for February 23. And especially, do you know uh, the agents have enough time now to apply? Um, can they still apply to the school boards? When would you recommend for them to send the application document? I would really recommend to apply as soon as possible. Um, this is the second semester and everything is based on availability. As soon as the boards um, fill out the quota of international student, they will close the admission. So really, if you have students who would like to come to Canada for the second semester, please ask them to fill out the application and send it in. So please make sure to send your applications as soon as possible to ayypapps at ciscanada.com and copy your sales representative. We'll be really happy to help you. Anastasia, thank you very much for joining us today and helping us with more information about the February 2023 academic uh, semester. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much, Miguel, and thank you so much, everybody.